Bernard. Hi, happy Tuesday, and welcome to Now, the fun show hosted by me, Curtis P. Today we're kicking the entire show off talking about a very big topic happening to the south of me. That being the fact that the entire U.S. government, yeah, it's closed. In an event that I didn't even know was possible, it appears that the U.S. government has shut down. This being because Congress couldn't pass a bill to actually fund itself. Which, to my Canadian mind, is very boggling. I'm not sure about yours, but to me, I'm just like, what? Currently, the military are still being paid thanks to new legislation by Obama, but 700,000 other federal employees are not getting paid. That works out to 400,000 people at the Department of Defense not getting paid, 40,200 at the Department of Commerce, 12,700 in the Department of Energy, and 18,500 in the Department of Transportation. That's a lot of people not getting paid to work. The post Postal Service is though still working due to the fact that they are funded by themselves, which is kind of interesting. Also, Social Security benefits are still being paid out to those who require them. If we look back in time here, the last time the American government was actually shut down was 17 years ago. Now the entire thing happening because, well, Obama and their administration were pushing through a piece at Congress to be like, let's fund the next year of government employees. To where the opposition were like, yes! But Obamacare comes into effect tomorrow, so let's try to fuck with that. Thus, when Obama and his party handed over the bill to be like, hey, we should sign this to get people paid, the opposition was like, yes, but let's amend it and add, but let's kill Obamacare. To which Obama was like, no, I'm not gonna sign that again. And thus, here we are in a time when the US government is closed. So at the current time of recording this, there are still standoffs on both sides to be like, well, we're not signing that. Well, neither are we. And then the people outside are like, we want to get paid. So a fun thing about this, all the people in Congress that actually work there, yeah, they're still getting paid. So that's up. Along with people not getting paid, things like national parks, federal services like NASA, which actually celebrated its 55th year today. Happy birthday to NASA, though, of course, those are closed. Obama has stated, you don't get to extract a ransom for doing your job, for doing something you're supposed to be doing anyway, or just because there's a law that you don't like. An interesting thing about this, John McCain actually stated that he doesn't think they'll win. He thinks that eventually a straightforward funding bill will need to be passed in Congress. Which, yeah, if you don't pay people for long enough, they'll find other jobs, meaning that when you want them to come back to work, you're just gonna be like looking for a bunch of people to work for you. So hopefully that gets all sorted out. If you want to check out more information about this, there are two awesome articles in the description down below. One from the CBC, that being the Canadian Network and BBC. I tried to choose some that weren't completely Americanized, so these are very open, broad, and basically get down to the very simple points of everything. Jumping away from the US now, let's talk about some Canadian type news because guess what? Have you ever thought, I kind of want to buy a sports team? Well, the Canadian Luge team is actually up for sale. Today at a news conference in Calgary, the Canadian Luge team announced, yeah, we're for sale. Instead of having sponsored logos like on their shirts and stuff, they just had the words for sale. Which is kind of an interesting media statement to be like, like we're for sale, buy us. Though four years ago, this exact same stunt did work and they raised a million dollars from a financial group. Though this year, that financial group stopped funding them. So they're looking for someone to buy them or at least buy the advertising rights to their jerseys and stuff. So yeah, if you got a couple million laying around, buy the Canadian Luge team. I don't, so I will not be buying the Canadian Luge team. Though it would be kind of hilarious to see the entire Luge team with like my face on all of their jerseys. Next up in the news, let's talk about nuclear energy. Because unfortunately, it can be shut down apparently by a jellyfish. One of the most powerful nuclear power plants in Sweden was actually shut down recently because of a large amount of jellyfish. The Osko Shaman nuclear power plant was shut down because jellyfish actually started to get into the water intake pipes that were connected into the reactor. And with all the jellyfish being in the pipes, less clean water could be brought in, turned into steam, and then generate electricity by the way of turbines. So yeah, the entire plant had to be shut down and they had to like clean the jellyfish out of the pipes. After that, the plant was restarted and everything else was good. For those wondering, there was no danger of like a meltdown or anything, just a large amount of jellyfish, which is... Interesting. Jellyfish alone are just really interesting. So when you get like nuclear energy and you get jellyfish together, it's just like, it's 
combine the two of them like nuclear jellyfish or not whatever you kind of want to do next up YouTube, yeah, YouTube's hosting a music award show now, apparently. Hosted by Jason Schwartzman, it's going to happen on November 3rd in New York City. But if you're like myself and you're like, I can't make it to New York City because that's way the frick away. Well, don't worry because YouTube, knowing their internet type basis, are live streaming the entire event. It's gonna be time for you, the fans, to actually vote on different type of musical acts and who's gonna get and win the awards, which I think is kind of cool, kind of brings you into the whole mix of things. Also, along with the awards, we'll accompany live performances by different artists, and of course, all being live streamed out to the internet for everyone to enjoy. So November 3rd, tune into this place, YouTube, I guess, and watch the YouTube Music Awards for the first time ever. So the YouTube Music Awards, a YouTube style music award show. What do you think about that? Like my thoughts towards like YouTube itself, just doing live events, they tend to be kind of hit or miss. So I'm kind of wondering like, what do you think about this entire thing? Are you planning on watching the YouTube style Music Awards. I guess they're just the YouTube Music Awards. I don't know where style came from. You can let me know what you think in the comment section down below. You can also let me know on my Facebook page, Twitter account, or through that thing called Google+. Links to all that and the other articles I talk about in today's episode in the description down below. Check out all the description links down there. Tons of cool things. Also, of course, if you enjoyed today's show, why not hit that like button, subscribe, and maybe even share the show with your friends. Until tomorrow, I'm Curtis Parody, and that's what's happening now. I'm gonna go practice my singing voice. Gonna get on that YouTube Music Award! YouTube! You, 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 YouTube! Ah!